Okay, here we are in beautiful sunny Southern California. Uh. It's got to be about, oh, 40 degrees. <laughs> I believe uh, Gordon brought that with him. But anyway, we've got Ricky Wells and Gordon Kennett here. We'd like, oh. Ed Kennett. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that's your uncle. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks, Andy, for coming out with us. Here with me, we got Ed Kennett, Martin Dugard, young Kelsey Dugard, all here racing at Paris today. I'll just start with Martin here. Martin, how long has it been since you've been on a bike? Ten years. Ten years, and he's, and he's uh, basically came out of retirement to join us here in, in California. Um, you know, obviously, we're here with uh, Martin Hagen from Hagen Shocks, and uh, he's got the whole crew. What's your first impression of the track here? Um, it's It looks pretty slick and hard, so it, it, it'll spin a lot. Yeah. Is it anything like you've ever ridden before, or is it totally different? Um, it looks a lot smaller than what I've ridden. It's about the same size as what I usually ride, so... It should be good. Right on. Good experience, huh? Nevertheless, right on. And Ed, what do you? What do you? I know you're. Uh, you've been pretty pumped up for this meeting. You know, do you fancy your chances? Yeah, I'd like to think so. But um, you know, it's a tough field. It's and Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough field. You know, Ricky, Ricky, and then a few of the other lads. I know they can ride these tracks pretty good. And uh, my old, my old buddy Martin. You know, I know he's just coming out of retirement again for a couple of meetings. But I'm sure he'll, he'll give me a run for the money. Right on, and obviously, you know, with with uh, your crew here, it's pretty it's uh, pretty hard to take this serious, huh? Yeah, that's <laughs> it. But you know, we we just all know have good fun and, and ride safe, and uh, yeah, and just enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty cool for American Speedway to have these guys joining us here. You know, I mean, obviously, we've got tricky conditions with the weather, but uh, it's nothing these guys aren't used to. It's it's great for the kids. It's great for what we're doing with the kids. And, uh, you know, they're, they're here to support it. So uh, I'd like to thank you guys for coming out and joining us. I have no clue. It works He'll probably be fine with a <laughs> yeah. 61. He'll be Just because of the ratios are different. I heard you're running a 16, 14, 68, right? I'm running here? 68? Running 63. I'm running like 12 the clutch and then. How, how many times do you guys ride here? A lot. This is like, this is the, well, not this oh. track, but this track was like facing that way. Oh, like, I'm, quite, I'm quite gutted they don't do practice because, like, me first time out, I'm going to be like, yeah. uh, where do I ride? I know, I wanted practice. Well, normally they do, but it's. I like, forgot how to ride. Oh, no, today it's like, like all right. I guess because they don't want to screw up the track. Put their foot like that. You, you ride like that? No. I was going to say, you're living hell. <laughs> you still like reading motocross, but not speed or anything. Number nine, Edward Cannon of the Coventry Bees. Mikes. Everybody moving at the line. And referee lets the bike, lets the race go. Edward Cannon out to an early lead. Ricky Wells right behind him. Doug Nickel running third. And Mark Hill's fourth. It is all Edward Cannon right now. Ricky Wells already about five bike links back. Doug Nickel about ten bike links behind Ricky. Lighting the track up. Takes a look back. Good solid lead halfway through. And look at Kenneth go. Bike flag out. It is Eddie Kenneth, Ricky Wells, Doug Nickel, and John Marquez off the gas. And coming to the checkered flag, looking for the three points in the win. 
Hey, hey. Dude. Nice job there, buddy. Yeah. That was a great ride. Thanks. How do you like that track? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Pretty good. Okay, this will be a three-man go in Heat 14 with no Dukey or Malenko. So, off the pole, number 41, John Marquez, out of two. Number two, Martin Dugard, and coming from the outside, he dropped a point in the last round. You can bet he wants it back this time. National champion, number one, Billy the Kid Janeiro. Shots Gennaro, takes him to the wall. Gennaro comes back under. Gennaro chasing, goes in deep. Looks like he's going to push Dugard out. And after a lap, it's darn near a dead heat. Dugard and Gennaro dicing it out in front. Back and forth. There have already been about five lead changes here. And Gennaro finally gets a foot under. Pulls out to about a one bike length lead. Martin Dugard chasing though. Dugard making up speed down the back straight, but coming to the white flag, it is Bill Janelle. Two bike league lead over Martin Dugard, and trailing in the distance, number 41, John Marquez. But it is all Bill Janelle at this point. Coming around to the checkered flag, it will be the current national champion, number one, Bill Janelle. In second place, Martin Dugard. Really getting his bike under him now. And coming around for third place, number 41, John Marquez. So that's three points to Billy Gennaro, two points to Martin Dugard, and one CC Junior Race, 308 Max Rummel, second place number 98 Brock Nickel, third place number 111 Dylan Rummel, number 104 Curtis Hamill, and in fifth place number zero Haley Peralt. Doug Nickel on three. Button push back Nickel, Nickel's moving at the line, Nickel pulls back and Josh Sarson catches him, but Martin Dugard has an incredible hole shot, and Dugard out first and fast. Coming around the top of the of turn four is Martin Dugard, Jimmy Fishback, Tommy Hedden, and Doug Nickel. Martin Dugard is flat out riding that bike. Pulling away from Jimmy Fishback down the back straight. Halfway through, it's our guest from England, Martin Dugard. Jimmy Fishback, Tommy Hedden, and Doug Nickel. Right flags, Dugard, Fishback, Hudden and Nickel. And after a rocky start, looks like Dugard's really gotten his win now, folks. Martin Dugard just flying. Coming to the checkered point, flag, third. Second place, number 25, Jimmy Fishback, two points. Third place, number 40, Tommy Hudden, one point. So, Kennett off the pole. Tyson Burmeister off of two. And Michael Raines coming off of three. This will be a three-man go. Everybody doing some gardening out there. Thus far, Edward Kennett has just been on fire. He's the ex-captain of the Coventry Bees. He's ridden for pool for Rye House. He's the second top point average on the Bees currently at 7.64. Ex-British under-21 champion. Appeared in a couple of Cardiff Grand Prix as a wild card. This guy can flat out ride. If you want to help out 50 50 tickets, you can buy 50 50 tickets in the stands right now. Incredible hole shot by Kennett. Tyson Burmeister trying to reel him in down the back straight, but that's not going to happen this time through. Michael Raines slides out at turn three. Yellow flags out. Michael Raines is up and running. Edward Kennett, the leader. Kennett is flat out flying. Probably the only guy that's going to give Billy Gennaro a good run for his money tonight. White flag out. It's all Edward Kennett. Tyson Burmeister about 10 bike links back. 
in second place. And Michael Reigns, who went down, is back up at about a half track back. Michael Reigns goes down again, clears the track in a nick of time. And your winner, Edward Kennett, three points. This is event number 24, Kennett, Janelle, Russell, and Henn. And here it is, Eddie Kennett with the lead. Janelle straightens out, gets a little sideways, cuts Kennett off, but Kennett comes back. It is Kennett in the lead. Coming out of four, it's Kennett, Janelle, Henn, and Russell. Edward Kennett riding like a wild man. Kennett pointing away down the back street from down the back street from Billy Gennaro. Gennaro is trying to get a few bike links back. Coming to the right flag, Edward Kennett by about five bike links. Billy Gennaro in second, Redden in third, and Russell to the infield. But Redden and Gennaro. Kennett coming into bend number three, coming out of four, heading for the checkers, Eddie Kennett. And it looks by luck of the draw, Billy Gennaro has taken the pull. Ricky Wells will be coming out of two. Martin Dugard coming out of three. And Jimmy Little Animal Fishback coming out of four. This is semifinal number one. And it is Ricky. There goes the plywood. Looks like Gennaro hooked up with Ricky's back tire, swept Dugard under the plywood when that went down. Billy Gennaro is up, and Martin Dugard is off the track. And you see this big body go, do the fence, 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 Dugard, if we can make it back, and fish back. So we'll have to see out there. Martin Dugard is. That's twice. That's twice. Did you see it with that one we made? Uh, I am You got a 17? Hey, is that a. No, it's fine. No, it's grew up. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's a really good side. Everything's good. Everything's good. I got you, Norman. Hey, do we got, got to turn the boiler on? Second, Martin Degard running third. Coming out of the fourth bend, it's Wells, Fishback, and Degard. At the halfway point, Ricky Wells out to a comfortable lead. Jimmy Little Animal, Fishback running second. Martin Degard running third. And Degard is going to shut her down. So, going to the semi, uh, going to the grand final will be Ricky Wells and Jimmy the Little Animal Fishback. White flag out, Wells Fishback, to guard to the infield. And coming around off the last bend, your winner of the semifinal, number one, number 142, Ricky Wells. 
In second place, number 25, Jimmy Little Animal Fishback. Both those boys will be going to the final. Edward Tennant like a lightning bolt. Tennant is already gone. Tyson Burmeister running second, Gio Mazuris running third, Tommy Hedian running fourth. But Edward Tennant already out to a 10 bike length lead halfway through the second lap. Burmeister bobbles, goes a little wide, Gio Mazuris tries to close in on him. Halfway point, it's all Edward Tennant. Burmeister second, Gio Mazuris third, Tommy Hedden fourth. Hedden comes under Mazuris, nips Mazuris and moves into third place. But only two transfer to the main event. One of them is going to be Edward Kennett, who leads at the white flag. Tyson Burmeister in a solid second place. Tommy hadn't put a little run on him, but Tyson's well under control. Check your flag out. It's Edward Kennett by 20 bike links. Second place, number 26, Tyson Burmeister. Third place, number 40. Tommy Hedden, fourth place, number 24, Gino Manzaris. To do the throughout corner, so it's Brock Nickel on the inside. Haley Peralt next to him. Dylan Rummel with Max Rummel on the outside. And Brock Nickel with a great start. Dylan Rummel running second, Haley Peralt third, Max Rummel running fourth. Max picks off Haley, moves into third. Goes to work, comes under his younger brother. Max into second, but right now your leader, number 98, Brock Nickel by a good 10 bikes. Brock has this easily under control right now. Max Rummel trying to close in on Brock Nickel. Halfway point, Brock Nickel, Max Rummel, Dylan Rummel, and Haley Peralt. All right, here comes Max Rummel going to work on Brock. One bike link separating him now. Max Rummel making his move. Coming wide around the outside of turn four. Max Rummel takes the white flag. Moves into the lead. Number 98, Brock Nickel running second. 111, Dylan Rummel third. Number zero, Haley Peralt in last place. Check your flag out. Coming off the last turn. You're aware of the 250cc junior main. Number 308, Max Rummel. Second place, number 98, Brock Nickel. Third place, number 111, Dylan Rummel. We are on to the main event, brought to you by our good friend Bruce Savatos. Thank you, Bruce, for sponsoring the main event. Here's our main event, coming from the inside out. Number three, Edward Kennett. In the second position, number 142, Ricky Wells. Coming out of number three, number 25, Little Animal Fishback. And off the outside, X of the Coventry, uh, X of the Wolverhampton Wolves, pardon me. Number 26, Tyson Burmeister. Okay, let's run this main event. Let's do this thing. And it looks like Edward Kennedy is out fast. Oh, no. Well straightens up, wipes out Kennett, up, wipes out Kennett. Burmeister goes down behind him. Okay. Okay, well this sure isn't like what we wanted to see the way that ends such a great evening here. We'll get this all sorted out here. Sorry, Eddie. Okay, 
Once again, thank you to Bruce Sabatos for sponsoring this main event. This is the main event of our second annual IEAutos.com Speedway Winter Championship. In this heat, off the pole, from the Coventry Bees in England, Eddie Kennett. Next to him, the newest Sheffield Tiger, number 142, Ricky Wells. Coming out of three, number 25, Jimmy, Little Animal Fishback. And on the outside, number 26, MXRC racer Tyson Burmeister. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Here we go. Wells and Kennett again. This time, Kennett is clear. Down the back straight. Ricky Wells on him hot. But it's Edward Kennett after one. Ricky Wells trying the outside. Still in second. Fish back in third. Burmeister in fourth. It's Edward Kennett. Ricky Wells driving. Ricky Wells one bike length behind. Burmeister shuts down. It's Edward Kennett. Ricky Wells. Wells trying to give it to Kennett. Wells coming right around Kennett. Wells passes Kennett. On the outside, down the back straight. White flag out. It's Ricky Wells. Kennett is having mechanical problems. Looks like his bike's dying on him. And he's running again. He's trying to hold off Little Animal. But right now, Ricky Wells out to about a 10 bike leg lead. And the winner of the second annual IE Autos.com Speedway Winner Championship is the Kiwi Kid, number 142, Ricky Wells. In second place, number two, Edward, number three, Edward Kennett. In third place, number 25, Jimmy Little Animal Fishback. And in fourth place, 26, Tyson Burmeister. On behalf of Kerry Hancock Productions, Vince Spready, the Southern California Flat Track Association, thank you all very much for coming, making this the best night at the new Paris Speedway facility ever. Okay, again, here we are in Southern California. We got Edward Kennett and Ricky Wells here. Um, they're going to participate in the track championship tonight. Just kind of want to feel you guys out a little bit here on who thinks who's going to win here tonight. We'll start with Ricky. He's had a little experience here. What do you think of Gordon racing tonight here? Do you think he has a chance against you? Edward. <laughs> okay. Take three. 